My name is Dorothy Jungles, and I founded this Everdance Theater with my son and daughter, Aaron and Rachel, who are in the show and part of it. We formed a company of dance and theater, and uh, after we were here, after in 1986, we started it, started touring, and then in '89 we bought this place and started building a little theater in school. And a suit to new, and a double pay railway, and a palm bay pot of array, and a pirouette, and a palm bay pot of array, and a run run, and a leap, and a tour to take, back, and tour to take. So we're going to do something different. We're going to do something totally different, all right? Yeah. So, so we go to to new. Now, okay. Pombe, cover, ray, for a wet. Pombe, cover, ray, run, run, and leap. And we're going to take that out. And, okay. Yeah. Do you want to mark that? And then we're going to work. Uh, we're going to do a new We did a lot of hit and runs in schools where we teach for two weeks or four weeks or whatever and then you know there'd be lovely talented kids that wouldn't have any way to go on. Not everyone will become an artist but there become less and less places for strongholds for people to go and say they're an artist or become an artist, especially urban youth that don't have the money to, to get any classes like that. So that's what this is about. And uh, all this talent that exists can be come to fruition. Now it's time for our musical. And what we'd like to have is a title. What's that? Don't, don't go in the haunted house. group case closed they work out here he teaches you know it's a very beautiful art form he's a great choreographer fun and I mean humorous talented you know in every way um, I first came here when I was 15 just learning break dancing as a hobby and the director which is Dorothy Jungles she saw me do um, some break dance moves whatever and she asked me to do a show and ever since then I kept doing shows and then I started teaching so this is, a, this is a great outlet for youth. I'm telling you right now, it's been here for over 25 years. I don't know if any other place has been around for 25 years in the same spot. In the same spot, you know, brick by brick. I've been here for 25 years and I started as, I've been here for about 15 now, so. And a great outlet for youth. So many things, so many resources that, stuff you learn here, um, you can't even learn in like some universities. So I, this I cherish, it's like second home. I'm the 
the score. I'm speaking of the music, I'm watching the floor. Just like a dream that I'm the joy. It don't mean that you show up in the joy. Just look at me so. This place, um, just by the look of it, it has so much character and potential. And just the look of it, it's rough, rugged. When you come inside, it's a whole nother story. Now, when you see kids nowadays that are on the outside, in the inner city mostly, um, same thing, rough, rugged, but inside, it's another story. So, Dorothy gave me that chance to explore my inside and come out, and now I'm trying to give that chance as well with my company called Case Closed. So, um, it gave me, this place gave me an opportunity. Honestly, if, if I wasn't doing this, I'd either be dead, in jail, or at a very, very low point in life. We do have new kids that come in that we have to adjust to as well, and they have to adjust to us. But once that openness gets brought out, everyone is not afraid to speak what they want, and we do not judge you. So and with that in mind, we are very down to earth, like friends, and sometimes we chill out together too, outside the carriage house, you know what I mean? Just when we ask each other who's good, what's going on, how's life, but um, we grew up together, kind of grew up together. Like a lot of these kids that performed today were my students, you know, and I was students of Rachel and Aaron and Dorothy, so the tear just keeps growing, you know what I mean? So, and then new kids will come in as a new family, so. This is the first place, really, that I felt like there's a family sense. There, I mean, he he was in DCYF for the four years of high school, but he won the Shakespeare contest, and uh, you know he found himself in acting. You know he found his talent, and and we found it that we, I mean, that we all benefit from it. Meaning, you know, like how could we do without it? Well, my name is Ari Brisbane. I'm 21 years old, and um, I am an actor at the Carriage House Ever Dance Theater. How long have you guys been dancing here? For like an hour, dude! And I was a little afraid to start acting because, you know, I wasn't really out of my shell, so I looked towards hip-hop dancing, and that's why I met Sokia Ross. And under him, I started uh, dancing and learning uh, how to get involved with the Carriage House. And then I felt like I was kind of initiated within the realm of trying to learn how to do improv because everyone did improv at that time. There's been something going on in that old creepy house next door. I've been hearing, screaming, hollering. I can't go to sleep anymore. This haunted house is creeping me out. I feel like someone's watching me. I try to hide, but I can't stop. So I'm just touch my feet. one of the best qualities of the carriage house is that it allows people to create instead of being and it takes sometimes the most destructive people into being creative Close on your phone. Oh. 